Hello there. How are you doing? I hope you've been fabtastical. Um, today we've got another new dragon. So, as you may already know, the Featherfall special solo event that we have right now has 20 tiers, and Mr. Snuggly, Puffly, Fluffy Boy is one of the dragons that you can get out of this event. He is the tier 10 reward, so most people probably already have him by now. Um, but, um... I haven't really been around too much, so we're going to go ahead and also hatch him today. Um, we've also got this polar bear dragon, which was the dragon of the week last week. I already have one of these, so I didn't really want another one, um, but I guess I'll take it. And so obviously Mr. Fluffle, Spuffle, Fluffy Boy is in our inventory here. He's only a rare, but if we go ahead and hatch him, he takes about 20 hours to finish. So um, let's speed it up. And we are back, and Mr. Fluffle is now ready to be hatched. Look at him. I mean, kind of a plain egg, not gonna lie. I don't know what these huge wings are about on the egg. You don't normally see eggs with wings, unless they're meant to be weird ears, but anyway. Um, there is Mr. Snuggly Poo. So, the aptly named Snuggle Dragon is one of the cutest, friendliest dragons around. But those claws have got to be for something, right? Hey, Snuggle Dragon, what are your claws for? Is it Snuggle Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Ned wrote that. Am I the only one that gets that vibe? It definitely sounds like a Ned quote right there. But either way, light and void rare dragon. The main reason for getting Snuggle out of this event was probably for the Aphrodite breeding that's been going on in the Breeding Blitz event. Because you know, you get this dragon in tier 10, which for most people is going to be pretty early on. Then you go ahead and you do the Breeding Blitz stuff for Aphrodite. She's not available anymore because she's gone. But if we wanted to do that, that's what Snuggly Poo would have been good for. Um, but I'm probably not even going to do any more tears personally because I don't care. And this is a cute little baby. I'm still going to level it up though. Because even though it's only a rare, I'm still going to get some DCP for it. And you know me, I love some DCP. But aside from that, I am very much over this solo event. I, I feel like another rant is coming on. Maybe not today, but I feel like a big rant is on the way because of, um, it's like, remember how for the last few months we've been absolutely begging for them to stop with the absurd cooldown timers and tiny pools, and then they decided to give us an event with a bunch of single pool or single item pools. Yeah, that was really nice of them, wasn't it? Either way, at least we've got this adorable looking dragon. This is I. Is this I with that little smirk on his face? Oh, beautiful. Well, he can go and sit in the voidy places. Of course, we're also going to have a dragon of the month, a new one, tomorrow. Um, that video is probably going to go up in the afternoon rather than the morning because I am not going to be here. So keep that in mind. You can be waiting for the guy, but don't expect it in the morning at least for my time. I don't really know what time it is for you based on time zone. There's another rare, look at that. Remember when the mask dragon was really rare? <laughs> Those days are over. Those days are long gone, my friends. But anyway, we've bred them, we got nothing. Not that we really wanted Wooly anyway, because he's the dragon of the week. For now, I am just gonna get everything prepared as if I'm not gonna be here for a day. And you know, I think it's an important part about DML to remember that if you're not going to be around for a set period of time, you, you can probably do more things or pre-plan your game better if you know that you're not going to be around for a set amount of days. Like, if you know for a fact you're not going to be able to log in. And it's normally a better idea to put in the one day food, but, you know, then it's like, hey, you didn't actually have to do things and now you've just got to wait an entire day for your food to finish. That can suck. But... It's like, if you've got any dragons to hatch, throw them into the hatchery while you're gone. Uh, just throw something in to have its elements unlocked. You know, all of that, just making use of the time. You know, it's difficult in my day-to-day -day life to not optimise anymore because of what DML has done. It ruins my day-to-day -day life because whenever I'm doing something, I'm like, no, I should be doing three things at once, right? And, obviously, the perpetual thought about having to do things for this game at the same time. Ah, bless. You know, I, this extra breeding den for £1.70 for a full 30 days is really not that bad of an offer, and I'm probably going to regret not buying this. If you really do want to get a second breeding den, buy it while it's on sale, but one thing that I will remind you is that 
Getting two breeding dens is only really useful if you have at least three, I mean at least four hatchery slots, because one three spot hatchery gets clogged up by just one, one breedy area. One breeding den is what I wanted to say there before my brain lagged out. But you can fill out all three of these spaces sometimes just with one. So if you're going to have two of them running, you need to have really at least four spots. Otherwise, you're not going to get good value out of it. So um, keep that in mind. I've not even done any of the Bottomless Dungeon yet this week. I'm really not on it, am I? <laughs> oh, this solo event has finally kicked me to the curb. I've given up. I've given up. You know, it would be cheaper to just gem through this to get an extra 10 gems back. I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even going to do that right now. I don't care enough. I don't care. But anyway, I just want to go ahead and hatch Mr. Snugglepuff. Um, I'm sure that we will be back very soon. But for now, I need to uh, head off skis. It is in the new year. It's already in the new year for some. So I will say, I hope you have a fabulous one day of the new year um, if you have a new year's resolution um, I hope that you can achieve it but I mean every day can be new year's day if you want it to be you don't only have to be a good person on new year's day or in January it's like if you wanted to do something why don't you just do it when you want to do it hmm why's it got to be in January and then everyone gives up and then they get the new year's depression well, don't do that don't do that I, I highly suggest not doing that but anyway before I start rambling even more for now, good luck with all your breeding. Keep going with all of the event stuff that you've got going on. And um, I hope that I shall see you in the new year. See you soon.